Ayan. Hello, good evening. Good evening sa inyo lahat. By the way, I'm Paolo Garza, your host of this channel. Paolo Garza and family. So hopefully, uh, andi dito ko ngayon. Ngayon. Para i-discuss tong new ruling o yung under the new create law na napinirmahan ni President Duterte. Okay, so umpisa na po natin yung ating discussion regarding sa RMC or Revenue Memorandum Circular Number 50-2021. Okay, so bago tayo mag-umpisa sa Memorandum Circular na ito at i-explain po natin kung ano po yung mga nilalaman na ito. So before tayo mag-start, miss, huwag niyo pong kalimutan mag-subscribe kung bago ka lang sa aking channel at kung magugustuhan po ninyo yung ating content, Eh, wag na po kayong magdalawang isip na mag-subscribe. So, ang ating channel ay may mga content regarding po sa BIR, accounting, bookkeeping, SSS, pag-ibig, pill health, at iba pang related po sa mga business. So, nagbibigay din po ako ng mga ibang uh, discussion regarding po sa mga stock market, cryptocurrency. So, mga ito ay mga special content ko lang po para this may, may share ko lang po sa inyo ng Konti yung aking mga kaalaman regarding sa mga paano po kumita. Okay, so mabalik tayo sa ating usapan. So under the new create law, so we have um, RMC circular or revenue memorandum circular number 50-2021. So inilabas po ito noong April 8, 2021, 5 p.m. po. At yan, pirma, pirmado po ng ating BIR, ating head office. So ano po ba yung... nilalaman ng RMC 50-2021. So, ito ay so ito ay tungkol sa mga fiscal year. Ito po ay fiscal year na nagpa-file po sa mga noong July 31, 2021 to June 30, 2021. 21, sorry. So, ang subject nito is guidelines in filing and payment of annual income tax return by non-individual taxpayer. So, By non-individual taxpayer, ito po ay mga korporasyon o yung mga non, yung hindi nga non-individual tax payer. For the taxable years ending July 31, 2020, 22, June 30, 2021. So, fiscal year ang tawag po dito. Okay? So, ipinararating po ito sa lahat ng internal revenue officers, employees, and other concern. Okay? So, this circular is being issued to prescribe the guidelines in filing and payment of annual income tax return by non-individual taxpayer for the taxable year ending July 20, 31, 2020 to June 30, 2021, which was affected by the passing of RA 11534 or ito yung tinatawag natin, Corporate Recovery and Tax Incentive for Enterprising Act, o yung tinatawag na CREATE. Napakagandang acronyms po para po sa ating, uh, sa ating mga tax percentage po ito. So, okay. So, ang pinag-uusapan po dito ay yung tungkol nga po sa sinasabi po natin kanina, fiscal year, kung pa, paano po nila ipapile yung kanilang annual income tax return using the BIR form 1702 at iba pa basta related po sa 1702 okay then ito po uh, punta po tayo sa filing of annual income tax return so sa sinasabi po na non-individual taxpayer whether EF, EFPS or electronic filing ano ba EFPS ito nakalimutan ko po sa EFPS or non-EFPS filer filers shall use the offline EBIR form package version 7.9. So, meron na pong bagong version na yung offline EBIR form. So, ipapakita po natin later kung ano po yung nabago po o yung nadagdagan po sa ating offline EBIR form. So, sinasabi lang po dito na whether kayo ay EFPS filer or non-EFPS filers, kayo po ay magpa-file using the offline EBIR form. 
So ano po ba yung offline ni BIR form? Ay, uh, alam niyo na po ito. Ito lang naman po yung ginagamit natin na application for fi online filing ng mga form. So doon po natin ipapakay lahat. So matatagpuan po itong or downloadable na po itong offline EBIR package 7.9 version sa ating bir.gov.ph sa website po nila. Okay. So the EBIR form is available for downloading from the following site. Ito nga po. bir.gov.ph at ayong www.knowyourtaxes.ph. So dalawa dalawa po ang ano, dalawang site po ang pwedeng niyong puntahan para ma-download po itong version na or yung new version na ito. Okay, taxpayer who shall use the EBIR must follow this simple and convenient step. Okay? So una, siyempre, i-download nyo po yung download nyo po yung application after the download, install and run offline EBIR package 7.9. So gumagana lang po ito para doon sa laptop at desktop or personal computer. Hindi po pwede ang cellphone po ah. Okay, step to open install package and Okay, so medyo alam na po natin to Open nyo lang po. Nasa drive C po yung application na kapag na-install nyo po siya. Kung gusto nyo makita yung mga dati nyo, say, isa-save, andi dito lang po yan. Okay? Then, complete profile. Ayan, i-completehin nyo lang po yung profile ng inyong kliyente or yung inyong business sa front page po ng EBIR. So, then, accomplish. Okay, so accomplish natin. Okay. Ito po yung mga nabago o okay, yung mga nadagdag po sa ating offline version 0.9. So, applicable din naman po ito sa mga calendar year. Ha? Ito ay, itong dinidiscuss natin is for the fiscal year. So, itong BIR form, ang nadagdag is yung 1702 version C. Okay, it's, ibig sabihin na C is yung create law. So, ito yun, indicates ito yung nabago po sa part 4 item 40 yung yung applicable tax rate so added editable na po yung tax rate ng ating ano regular tax re, ano income then ang part 4 o yung item 41 ang computed amount shall appear based on the income tax rate provided yung ibinago nyo yung 30 25% and 20% then pa ano item number 42 Minimum corporate tax incomes due ay yung multiply by item number 33. So, 1% to ito o ito sa ating MCIT. Okay. Wait lang. Tingnan natin yung ano para at least makita natin. 1702. Okay. Yung MCIT. Hindi ko pa siya nasilip eh. Yung regular income tax lang yung ating nasilip. Okay, so MCIT. Okay, so editable na rin po yung ano, ating MCIT. 33. Okay, so number 33. Ito nga. Okay. Sorry, uh, yun. 2% pa rin pala nakalagay dito sa ating ano, MCIT. Number 42. Then, item number 57, um, part 4, must also have as a value compute the tax relief availment. So, ito lang po yung um, napago po sa, ano, sa version ng 1702RT version 2018C. Then, mix for the mix earner. So, 1702MX, BC din din. So, pare-parehas, uh, 14, yung tax rate, editable. Then, ito shall appear. Then, yung MCIT. If we had one activity project under XM and or special tax streams, regimes, regimes. So, yung part 4, schedule 4, items 1A and 1B, ito po yung compute the regular income tax, otherwise due by multiplying items 13A and 13B. So, makikita naman po natin yung changes. And then also, dito sa schedule 4, Item 2A, 2B, and 2C. Kung meron po mga special tax regimes, regimes ha? yan po tayo pupunta. Then next up, 1702, if two or more activities under XM and ano, ito po yung mga nabago. 
Ito yung sa item schedule C, item 1 and item 2. Okay? Then sa 1702, EX or exemption, uh, 2018, version 2018C. So ang um, ano, item number 52, compute the uh, regular income tax on device due the play ay okay. <laughs> then, okay, so tingnan natin sa ating ano yan, sa... Part 4 item 5, part 5, item number 52, okay, so yan, so wala din naman masyado, medyo ano, medyo may changes lang naman regarding sa tax, tax rate niya, okay, step 5, validate, so simple, ano lang, regular naman to, regular lang, sim-sim lang din, then step 6, submit and final copy, kung natapos na po natin at na-review na po natin, then Submission successful, so message to emails, step 7, step 8, and uh, makikita na po natin yung tax receipt. So kung kayo ay nakapag-file na po, eh, pwede nyo pong i-amend po. Ah. So, so let me reminder sa mga nakapag-file po ng ating uh, 1702 ITR, yung sa regular or calendar year, i-amend nyo na lang po using this form. So kailangan po gamitin nyo po itong form ha, either... Kapag hindi nyo po na gamit to until May 25, so sa other video ko, live stream, i-discuss po natin yung regarding doon. Kung bakit po kailangan i-file ng May 15, so meron rin po nakasaad or binabas na RMC or RR, CBIR regarding doon. RMC yata yun, okay. Then ito, um, ito yung mga modified in added letter C okay so the automatic computer of the tax due has been disabled or the taxpayer shall indicate the tax rate so si taxpayer na po yung magi indicate ng rate so be careful po sa pag edit po ng inyong tax rate okay so and dito naman yung table so tingnan niyo na lang po dito yung ating mga applicable tax rate, okay? So, be careful lang po, ah. Huwag po tayo mag-aano isasaga ng 20% kasi may mga applicable tax rate po ang bawat corporation. So, bali balikan nyo lang po yung ating RMC, if I'm not mistaken, RMC 5-2020. Let me see. Okay. RMC, okay, yun. RMC 5-2020. So, ito po yun, Okay. Then, yes, payment of tax due. Okay, ito importante po dito ha, dahil through EFPS and non-EFPS, kailangan po natin malaman kung saan tayo magbabayan. So, manual payments for non-EFPS is AAB or authorized agent banks uh, provided by the RDO or R, ng RDO or BIR ninyo under RMC 421-2021. So, where there are no AAB, in places where there are no AAB, the return shall be filed and tax due shall be paid with the RDO, or, uh, sorry, Revenue Collection Officer under the jurisdiction kung wala mang AAB na ka naka doon. Okay? For online payment for non-EFPS filer, so mobile payment, Gcash and Paymaya. So Paymaya available na rin po ang ating BIR payment. So hindi lang po Gcash yun. Okay? Then land bank, o oh, land bank, of the Philippines, kung meron po tayong link on this portal for the tax payer who have ATM account with LBP and holder of bank and ATM debit card. Then DBP, meron din po online ng DBP. Then Union Bank, online web and mobile payment for taxpayer who have account with Union Bank. Okay? Then PesoNet through LBP. Kung meron po tayong PesoNet, ay mag magagamit din po natin yung payment. Okay? Online, e sa letter C is online payment for the EFPS filer. So, uh, dito, hindi po natin mismo 1702, 1702 yung gagamitin, kundi yung BIR form number 0605. So, ang gagawin, gagawin nyo lang, ilalagay nyo lang sa tax type code is income tax or IT. Then, next is alphanumeric. Yung ATC is ang MC Queen 200 miscellaneous stock. So, ito po yung ano, direction na Direction po yan ha. Kaya, kailangan alam po natin yung pagpa-fill up ngayon ng ating uh, 
uh, offline EBIR form. Baka kasi ma mapilap po natin, mali pala ang napilap natin, mararong venue po tayo. Okay? So hanggang doon lang po yung ating ano, uh, yung discussion regarding this RMCPT-2021. Hopefully may mga nakuha tayong details. So pero Pwede nyo pong basahin yan ah, na sa bir.gov.ph po yung RMC na ito or else i, i ano ko po yung link sa ating description. Okay? So, uh, we will see you again on my next live stream. See you on the night. Ah, sorry. <laughs> okay, kung hindi ka po subscriber, uh, please subscribe kung nagusama yung ating uh, discussion and also the contents of, of our YouTube. Alright? So, by the way, Uh, see you on the next live stream. Bye. See you.